welcome back to my channel i'm taylor page if you're new here welcome to vlogtober day 18. in today's vlog i am going to talk about well i'm going to show you the things that i do when i don't want to do anything <laughs> so let's get into the video p.m. and I've done quite a bit of stuff today and you're probably like Taylor I thought this vlog was gonna be what you want to do what you do <laughs> what the things that you do when you don't want to do anything yeah <laughs> these are the things that I do when I don't want to do anything and I know that they seem like pretty mundane day to day it's pretty boring and it's easy to not want to show up especially when you're the one responsible for having to show up you have to just keep moving 
day by day and I know that I personally don't always want to do that. There are some days where I just want to like lay on the couch all day, watch TV, which is like pretty much what I did yesterday all day and what I've been doing the last few days. I just don't have the energy to show up. When you're trying to pull yourself out of a rut, you have to start somewhere and somewhere is usually a lot of mundane tasks. <laughs> Sorry the vlogs haven't been super chatty lately. I have just been exhausted, honestly, pretty depressed. I haven't really been chatting, but like I said, you have to continue to show up. So even though I didn't necessarily want to vlog every day over the last few days, I made a promise to myself that I was going to show up every day for Vlogtober. So even if it's not the vlog that I would normally want to do, like the length of the vlog, I still show up and I still do what I can, which is, really all you can do for yourself. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do today. I'm trying to get used to Connor having his new schedule. Like he's working from 10 to six and I'm definitely pretty lonely and I'm having a hard time like filling up my day. I think my depression right now is pretty circumstantial because I am like one, very lonely. Two, it's like really hard to find a job. All I can do is just like keep moving on, you know? What am I gonna do? Sit around all day and like be really sad and cry? Sometimes, sometimes, but I'm not gonna do that today. Also, I'm starting my period soon. So I have to remind myself that like a lot of what I'm feeling is just temporary, but I wanna be able to share the way that I feel, even if it's temporary. I know that when I post this, I might not feel this way tomorrow, which is, feels so cringy. Like when I rewatch my vlogs, I'm like, ugh. Why was I so sad, you know what I mean? But that is experiencing emotions. <laughs> All you can do is keep showing up for yourself like I am trying to do. I think eventually something will happen that kind of shakes everything up. So right now my days have been pretty, they're all kind of the same, nothing's new, which does not work really well for me. But I know that if I just keep pushing and keep applying to jobs, I keep waking up every day and working on the same things that I always work on and working on keeping my space clean so I don't lose my mind and let it get like really messy. Then I know that eventually something will start to change. Oh, like uh, what I was saying earlier was that Connor is off at six and then he's gonna pick me up and we are gonna go to the grocery store. It's almost 3.30 now. I started some laundry because also every time I feel this way, I'm just like, oh, I wanna like take a shower. I wanna take so many showers. I don't know why. I wonder if it's like taking a shower. I think I'm just like washing it all away. I don't know. I did do some yoga, which I haven't done yoga in quite a while. Um, I think the hardest part of doing yoga, just like, like I'm talking about with life, is showing up to the mat. So once I'm there and once I'm doing the yoga, I'm very happy. The hardest part is getting myself to even do it in the first place. I'm very proud of myself for continuing to show up in everything that I do and you should be too if you're struggling with depression or just like being in a rut lately. It's not easy to want to keep it pushing. Notice it's like a lot harder when you're an adult, you know? Like it is obviously on you to get yourself up out of bed and make your bed and do things and make plans with people and that is a hard, thing to do sometimes. We are developing new habits and we're also building resilience. I think is the number one thing about like deciding to like keep it pushing as opposed to just like laying on the couch and watching a movie for four hours. All you can do is keep showing up for yourself in small ways until you feel good enough to show up for yourself in bigger ways. Yes, you're gonna have those days, but you also need to like learn oh no that was really scary what just fell okay i don't know what that was but that really totally freaked me out fine it's fine everything is fine it's fine it's totally fine this could have happened before i did the yoga hi okay so i just wanted to pop in to say that i am going to wrap the vlog up here thank you for joining vlogtober day 18 can't believe we're almost done with Vlogtober and like I was saying earlier, I am going to continue to show up even when I don't feel my best. This is a promise that I made to myself and also I wanted to share that one of my favorite quotes that I actually heard from someone on TikTok but I can't remember who this was a long time ago. It, it was something like, if you don't want to 
do it, do it miserably. You can do it miserably. And I live by that quote because I will be doing it miserably. <laughs> There's one thing about me, I will be doing it miserably. The rest of the day, I think that I am probably just going to have like a very chill night. It's almost four. I'll just finish laundry and then I'll probably honestly give myself some time to like chill and I'll finish editing this vlog. But I do want to wrap it up earlier today because I have been editing pretty late the last couple of nights. Like some of the vlogs haven't come out until like 10 or 11 o'clock because I just have been spending more time filming later in the day but also i usually edit my vlog when i'm doing a daily vlog i edit my vlog throughout the day and i haven't been doing that and it's leading me to like having to spend an hour to two hours editing at the end of the night which quite frankly a lot more exhausting so i wanted to just be able to have the night i'll probably watch a harry potter movie with connor or something i know we didn't get to finish the second one a couple of weeks ago also finished twilight two days ago i think we finished all the movies so good i've seen those movies so many times i've also made connor watch them a few times but i just think they're like great fall vibes especially around halloween you know like vampires and everything <laughs> other than that we've just been watching one tree hill which we've already both we've both watched a couple of times before so but honestly sometimes it's like you watch a show i swear to god you watch a show that you've watched before and it's like you've literally never seen it before does that happen to anyone else because it's should i be concerned <laughs> I don't remember, I remember certain things, but I definitely don't remember them correctly. <laughs> Let me know if anyone else has that problem. This is the end of Vlogtober day 18. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. We're almost at 100 followers, which is like our 100 subscribers, which is really exciting, guys. I am thrilled about this. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep doing it. Even on days we don't want to. It's good to be consistent. This is where I leave you. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 19. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.